Hello everyone, this is tutorial 12 of Zwim. Before running the simulation, let's cross check the options. We go on option and down there you will have several names to choose. On general, we can check rainfall is fine, flow routine is fine, kinematic waves, modify green amped, everything is fine here. Then we will start the analysis today at zero time, but we are not going to stop at 6, but we are going to stop at 23. The rest is fine. We are not going to sweep the street. Then let's check the time step, which is fine. I think everything is fine. The rest is fine. We click OK and then we can run the simulation and let's hope that everything is OK run was successful with warnings see status reports for details let's see the warnings on the status report we go on report status and here warning number four minimum elevation drop used for conduit five let's check what is wrong with the conduit fives under hydraulics links conduit we click on five and this is the conduit here the conduit between junction 4 and the outlet definitely because the slope is not enough junction 4 has an elevation of 322.6 while the outlet has an elevation of 322.6 so there is no slope between the two that's why we need to decrease a little bit this junction so I decrease it of 40 cm at this point I have to check the conduit between junction 4 and the outlet how long it is so I go to links conduit and this is conduit number 5 here I can see that the length is 400 as default it's too long those uh, two junctions are actually very closed therefore I put 5 meter and at this point the situation should be corrected Let's try to run the simulation again and let's see the result. Everything seems to be fine at this point. Let's start analyzing our result. First, visually. Let's go on map. Let's choose our themes. For the subcatchment, we do not have interest. For the node, might be interesting to see if they are going to be flooded or not. So automatically, the legend appears. For the links, we might be interested to see the flow. We can start to run. And have a careful look at the color of the pipe. Here you have the time. Now nothing happened because the rain did not start. At 9 o'clock, it starts to rain. It takes some time for the pipe to fill. You can see the yellow pipe and the green pipe, they change of color. This is the variation of the water in the pipe and the flooding behavior of the junction. Junction 3 seems to be red and flooded. This might have some problem. Now let's have a look if the pipe that we have supposed are going to be flooded or not. Again, we go on map, on the node, we want to keep the flooding. And on the links, we want to put the capacity. This shows if the capacity is full reached or if we have some more capacity. We run again the analysis, go back here, and I want to check the color. When it is reached, the pipe turns red. If there is still some capacity, the pipe has different color. I just speed up a little bit up to nine o'clock and now color should change. Yes, here it changed. Don't see any red. Yes, here we see that this pipe has reached the full capacity while the other one, they are big enough. We can see now the single pipe. In order to see the single pipe, we have to click this icon create a profile plot I want to see the first line which is conduit 3 I add it 
conduit 4 I add it and why not the last one conduit 5 and I add it I save this one and I call it main line so I can use it later without having to insert again the pipe okay and here I can see the three pipes I run the analysis and I see the behavior of the water in the pipe up to nine o'clock nothing happened and here I see that the water starts to fill and at what point I reached the maximum and I have overflowed it so this means this pipe is not big enough while the first one is big enough for the next simulation I should change the profile of this pipe let's check the second line again profile plot this time I will add conduit 1 and conduit 2 okay those are the two i run simulation up to nine o'clock nothing happened at nine o'clock i start to have some water but i see that i definitely have enough pipe and actually this pipe is big for the amount of water that we are expecting now let's start to modify our system and to do it more economic and sustainable as you remember in tutorial part one the organization decided to put a relatively small drainage uh, half pipe of 40 centimeter diameter here on conduit 3 and on conduit 1 while for conduit 4 and up to there they didn't plan to do any type of drainage so let's check first if the chosen pipe of 40 centimeter is big enough for the water to be drained and let's see which one would be the best solution for conduit 4 and 5. Let's change conduit 1. We are going to take half pipe. It means circular. The pipe is 40 centimeter diameter. Therefore, the maximum height would be 0 0.2 as in the picture. Same here. It will be circular pipe 0 0.2. And here we have seen that the pipe was too small, so we can increase a little bit our pipe. Let's see what we can have. Now we have pipe of one meter height. Let's make one meter by one meter. Okay. I save it with a different name. Swim four centimeter, one by one, just to remember the change that they have done. Keep in mind that you cannot do undo on this software. Therefore, any change needs to be recorded properly. I save it and I run it. Seems fine. Let's see again the behavior. This time I just want to know if the pipes are going to be floated or not. I go on capacity. Red one means the full capacity has been reached while the other color means there is still some capacity i run the analysis i go quick up to nine o'clock okay now i keep an eye on the color aha uh -huh. interesting conduit once is obviously under dimensioned this conduit is big enough and this is over dimensioned so i change as well this one and actually this one is the pipe that angel plans to install it means circular and 0.2 okay i run the analysis again i check the main pipes seem to be fine while contact ones seems to be too small let's check again use save profile the main line okay this one at nine o'clock starts to rain. This is fine. The pipe number three is fine. And this is a little bit over dimension. So we can decrease the size of this pipe. And let's check the other one. Secondary line start at nine o'clock again. Then this pipe is under dimension while the second one is fine okay perfect so we need to increase the size of this pipe 
and decrease a little bit the size of this pipe. This is still circular, but we need a bigger one. Let's say a pipe of 60 cm diameter, it means maximum height 30 cm. And this is too big, we can decrease the bottom width 0 0.8. Okay, I save it. I run the analysis, looks fine. Let's check again our pipe, the main line at 9 o'clock. seems to be fine. The size of the chosen pipe looks good for the main line. Secondary line. So my last version would be increasing a little bit the size of convict one. I will put just 0.3 and see the behavior of the water. I run the analysis. Seems to be fine. I want to see the capacity there. I go at nine o'clock and I see everyone seems to be fine, except that now I have a trouble with conduit number two and as well conduit number three. So it seems that I need to increase the pipe of conduit one and two. I do it. I will increase conduit number one to 40 centimeter and conduit number two to 30 centimeter. I run the analysis, seems fine. I check again the behavior of the water at nine o'clock. All seems to be fine so far. Yes, it seems that at this point I have all the pipe properly dimensioned. Pipe number three is a little bit over dimensioned, but we have only 40 centimeter diameter, which is fine. So I can leave it like that. I can check as well on the table. I want to check the capacity of conduct one. Okay. Here I have the capacity and I can see that I reach maximum 56% of the capacity, which is fine. At this point, I will have defined the dimension of my drainage. We can even display scatter plot. For example, taking in consideration conduit one, we can compare the flow with the capacity. You can see how it works. The flow towards the capacity. We can create our statistic report. This is the last tutorial of the swim. I hope the process is clear. Definitely you might run into big mistake if you don't have the right rain intensity. You might run to big mistakes if you do not characterize properly the subcatchment. And in our example, I really believe that the rain intensity that I've chosen is a little bit too high. Also because if we would have such a big stream in Convict 4, we would see on the ground the the stream and in reality we don't see that so there is something wrong probably on the rain intensity and as well probably on the type of subcatchment in reality if you do such analysis you have always to cross check each parameter with the reality on the field but unfortunately this was not possible for me for this tutorial. As a very last point, it is important to keep an eye on the outlet under the principle do not arm. All this water at the outlet goes somewhere. Be sure that you are not flooding the area below your site. If your system is a combined system, you have to be sure that the sewage is treated as well. Remember that water goes somewhere and you have to follow the flow of the water to the end. Thank you very much for listening and see you for the next tutorial.